All right, the delicate part. This is where I can just completely uh, have a major catastrophe. I'm hoping that don't happen. <clears throat> I could route this out, but I can tap this out in a couple minutes time uh, with, uh, with this. And this. And so we're going to go ahead and try that right about now. Um, I just run that line. It's already cut down to the depth I want it. So it's just a matter of chipping it out now. And so i got to reposition the camera. I'm going to sit down with this. This is a sit down deal. Sunday. That's a big hard day of work tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's right. I work every fucking day. Uh, let's see. Here. Yeah, I just prefer to do it like this. Um, it's kind of my thing. It's pretty cool when it happens too. I, I shave it a little shy so I can come down into where I want it to be because the pocket, this is the trick right here. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is for all the money right here. Uh, this little phase, uh, knocking your pocket out, everything else, you know, it's just got to be square. As you can see, it doesn't take much to make a guitar body, right? You guys watched me do that. I really only worked on this probably 20 minutes other than what you've seen on the video. Uh, this is a poplar. They use it on, well, if you're lucky, they use it on, on your guitar. If you're not lucky, they use plywood. Most, most of them do all your Jacksons. and A lot of shit's done in plywood now. This is good solid wood, and it's one piece. You know what I mean? One piece on the top, one piece. Uh, it's two pieces, but instead of separating them like this, it's it's halves and they're sealed and locked they sat over all night um, with a nice layer of uh, tidal bond between them anyways you just kind of this thing is a really cool tool here they got you can uh, pretty much do what you want but as soon as you come up against there this stuff will just start popping out as soon as you get this backer out of here, the truth be known, I, I just love doing it, man. Make sure you don't go too deep, like I'm trying to do here. But, uh, I got the best router you can get, you know, as far as palm routers go. I got a nice DeWalt that would do this probably no problem, but have to set the jig up um, I don't like when it comes time okay so when it uh when it comes to these things these personal touches where where it's fit and finish um, I prefer to use this man and just take my time at it I really do and uh, and I'm not alone a lot of people do it and I didn't know it I, I struggled with with uh, you know, setting up jigs and everything when I first got started because uh, those are hard, man. You know, making a jig that's, you know, got to be precise because you're, you're making a tight pocket. When I'm done with this, and I should knock on wood. When I'm done with this, I should be able to get that neck in there so fucking tight that I don't need to bolt it to hold the weight of this body up. And so it should just hold the weight of the body and it's a heavy son of a bitch but if the pocket's done right it'll be that tight and if it's not then yeah uh, yeah you'll never know i'll never tell you <laughs> i probably won't uh now i've done a few of these and i've had a loose pocket or two uh, i mean you can fix them it's not a big deal Done a lot of 
this one. I probably got, I don't know, eight hours of video doing this. If you're new and you haven't, and you just started watching my videos, uh, I've probably got a, I don't know, you have probably run a week-long marathon with them. Probably 450 uh, videos by now of this type of shit. This bass is a square body, but it's by no means an easy guitar to do. Um, it has to look like a whiskey bottle when I'm done. And so that kind of takes up for all the little curvatures I would have normally carved out of a normal guitar. Um, yeah, this is a far from an easy job. Now the original one has, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of headless. Um, all the tuners down here, we're not doing that. This is going to be basically a PJ bass. It's going to have a, um, a precision bass pickup in it and a jazz bass pickup. And uh, and those pickups, in a perfect world, you won't even see them because they got to be somewhere mixed into the uh, logo to where it's they're subtle. I plan on mass producing these because I figure there's probably one Van Halen... Uh, tribute band in every major city and so once I get uh, Harry's done I got another stack of this wood that we're gonna start whipping them out and other ones like uh, the uh, Lemmy bass I'm gonna start I'm gonna do the carved bass on Lemmy because uh, if you've been following me since the beginning you know I do some carving and his is pretty simple it's not no real hard patterns. Got a hippy dippy design. But that's about how you want to take it down, just slowly. You know, I'm not going to make you hang out through the whole thing it'll take a while but i just wanted to get a little video on there hey thanks for watching i'll post you on the next uh, event